So we're here with uh, Pace, and uh, hello, so who are you? Hello, I'm Kirsten from Pace. I'm the PR manager, standing on our little booth today, and this is Uwe. Hello, so hey who are you? I'm Uwe, marketing manager for Pace. So what are you showing here? What is this, uh, is this little um, electronics here? And you talk about yeah. a smart car? Uh, yeah, we do. Well, this, uh, this tiny uh, hardware device turns your car into a smart car. So um, all this stuff goes into the smartphone? Definitely, yeah. Uh, that's basically how it works. You just plug this into your car. Um, it's uh, compatible with uh, probably uh, most of the cars that, uh, that have been manufactured around 1996. Really? Um, From 1996? Yeah. There's like a standard connector. What's it called? Exactly. It's OVD2, uh, it's called. It's a standard. It's under the steering wheel somewhere? It's the, exactly. They that's, all have uh, it, right? Yeah, yeah, they all have it. Um, it's, uh, I think it was mandatory uh, at least from 2004 on, but lots of cars uh, already had it before. So and, 1996. And both of you, well. you are able to install it. You know how to do? Of course. It's easy, of course right? You it's don't need a workshop. You don't need to go to be like a car professional. No. Plug and all. play. Plug and play. Yeah. Yes. So you just go and oh, there. It showed, and you yeah. just put only this part. Exactly. What is all this? It's simulation. Um, well, or? That's, that basically is a, a simulator car. Okay. Um, so we can simulate. Um, like the, the throttle here and acceleration, and uh, like if you, you see that if we like change it here, then the rounds per minute will go up as well in, in real time. So I just pull this down and instantly go down there as well. And this is how it looks like if you run the app uh, while driving. And it would also tell you if I like um, totally increase uh, the number of rounds uh, per minute, it will tell you. Um, you need to uh, come down with come your down. driving. Exactly, yeah. To save on uh, gas. Yeah, exactly. Well, petrol and also, yeah, uh, save on gas, so it's good for you and your uh, wallet, but also for the environment. Oh, yeah, because so it's good to exactly. care about the, the environment. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And uh, uh, it's possible to have this app running in the background all the time on your, app, on your phone, or you don't need to run it? Uh, Does it save stuff here in the sinks later, or? That's true. Um, it, it, it saves stuff here, but if you want to see like um, real-time uh, stuff like this, of course you need to. Uh, you but have maybe to some it. people want to uh, just navigate uh, maps, but they want to still have all this as they can easily swap to this app or yeah, the true. maps. Yeah, or, yeah. Sure, no problem. So it can be in the background, or yeah. you don't need can, to run no, it. No, no, it, it can be. It can be in the back. You need to run it. It can be in the background. Uh, if you want to instantly yeah. uh, have it, uh, then you need to just open the tab, so to say. It needs to run because it stores all the data, the statistics on here. Exactly. Also. It doesn't exactly. store it only on here. Like the real-time data, it stores, uh, it, it displays only here. Um, some some uh, features, for example, the drive lock, um, it, uh, like the ways that you uh, that you do with the car, uh, will be saved here on this device. So and you can um, like synchronize it afterwards. So how much it costs? When is it available? It's 119 euros. It's available now. Um, mainly working in Germany because some of the features are not active in other countries yet. But we're working on it. It's not going to be long until we expand all over Europe and then even more. Yeah, we have some good uh, Based on car. connections here in uh, IFA and you will have some distributors all over the world? Or? It's, it's going to be a lot of distributors around the world. Uh, our connections at IFA are mainly here at the moment, but we are available on Amazon now and uh, the Pace store. Are you the only ones who can do this technology? There's a lot of competitors? Or? Mm, there, there are some competitors, uh, but none of them actually offers um, this variety of features that we offer. So some of them only focus on the drive lock, um, and we like offer nine features. So you have a note proof, yeah. which is it's, it's emergency call. call. So if you're stuck in your car after an accident, you're not able to uh, call the ambulance. Uh, this uh, device will do it for you. What is call the Is that the uh, alcohol? Saving. Okay, it's not alcohol. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, well, field of code that you're bad. Error, oh. error code analysis. When something's wrong with the car and you don't know what, uh, Pace will tell you what's wrong and what to do. Find my car. It doesn't have a SIM card, no? No. no. So, so basically, you hide just, a phone in the car? Well, it basically just <laughs> saves the last position of your car ah. and then you can just uh, like find ah, it afterwards. Way. But you could leave like the phone in the, in the... You can have two phones. One to run this and the other one for your maps. And then this phone, you leave it in the glove box. And then it always tracks where you are. Right? Well, you could do that. If yeah. somebody steals your car, Actually, you, you could your do plan. that. Choose a cheap phone for what? this one. Yeah. Just it's Bluetooth, right? It's Bluetooth, right? I'm gonna write that down. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> you can make partnership with people who sell two phones. The bundle. Yeah. Yeah. Because people have iPhone Seven, they will throw it out when there's an iPhone Eight. Yes. So then you can just use iPhone Eight Seven. For Thanks this one. for the idea. 
Everybody has two phones in Europe. <laughs> okay. Cool. So there it is. Uh, one one nine no? euro. Yeah. Well, it's one nineteen. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's every a, brand, every car is just standard. Yeah. But some new cars have more stuff, right? Uh, electric cars have. And it will work too, or? Uh, well, with electric cars, it's, it doesn't support electronic cars because they are not um, bound to this um, uh, to this OBD2 port, and that's the simple reason why. Um, and like speaking of those features that um, you, you mentioned, cars having on board already. Um, for example, the uh, the eco, lots of the uh, older cars don't have it. Uh, for example, plus the uh, error code analysis. That's something that um, your car usually uh, doesn't provide because they want you to go to the workshop um, uh, they, they belong to. Um, so it does offer some. Can you uh, partner with a uh, car insurance? And yes. they will just yes. give them away for free, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. You will do that. Um, this is in the making, yeah. In the making. Yeah. Because it's the best partner for the car insurance. Definitely, because it tells them how the how their clients are, are behaving on the road. So yeah. you, for example, can have a cheaper car insurance, right? Yes, but that's not mandatory for users. They can choose if they want to participate in the insurance program or not. And if you drive bad, then maybe this is not good for you. I'm joking. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, with the insurance. I mean. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you you would only do that if you're a good driver, yeah. of course.